It's 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 been tough because uh, ironically, I'm being told to commit suicide myself, which millions of people literally tell me they hate me to go die in a fire. It's like the most horrible. Uh, is it me or does he not know what irony means? Now I don't blame him. You know, with his IQ, any word over four letters is probably a, too big a word for him to understand. But uh, Logan, uh, irony or ir like it would be ironic if you died and somebody who criticized you for showing little kids a dead body were to also show those same little kids your dead body. That would be ironic. Uh, it's not ironic, ironic to tell you to kill yourself. Uh, honestly, it's a sensible recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm joking, okay? I'm joking. I don't think anyone should kill themselves. Divine forces reaching in my aura. Come and see the other side. Same time, stay for you. They don't know my high. Wonder how I move in my eyes. I can show you the vision in every step. It's bigger than your regrets. So forget about that shit. Move forth, not so stiff. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat before I uh, start the video, I'm really sorry <laughs> for not posting lately. You know, I've been uh, really busy, but I know the recently resuscitated Daniel T has been clamoring for more content. But again, I've been really busy and I haven't had time. I mean, you know we stay out here using the fundamental theorem of calculus 1 and 2. All right? So tell ISIS we got our 83% on our math test. Anyway... I've recorded more cancer, okay, but I haven't had time to edit that shit because I'm honestly fucking lazy. My editing is dog shit. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to post more uh, since I know all my 377 adoring fans want me to. So back to Logan, Logang Paul. So he went on some boring talk show this morning and cried about how much of a fucking victim he is. And I gotta say, I wasn't really shocked. Pussy boys always be booling like this. They have a cycle. I like to call it the internet famous douchebag cycle of doing something stupid and then trying to make yourself look like the victim after you receive harsh criticism. Oh, that is a mouthful. Okay, so let's call it something else. Let's call it the Calvin cycle for short. Here is a scientific diagram for all my fellow Rick and Morty high IQ uh, brethren to enjoy. Um, I think Logan has a little bit of a different cycle. It's more of a little variation of the Calvin cycle. I'll call it the low gang cycle. The Paul cycle, the inbred cycle, the incest cycle, the retarded 20-year-old balding blonde man on YouTube cycle. So, so, let's, you know what? No, let's call it the merch cycle. This is the merch cycle, okay? So, it goes like this. You make shitty content for 12-year-olds, right? And you sell merch to them. But then you make something retarded, right? You do something stupid. So, it backfires on you and you receive criticism. Next, you play the victim and cry like a bitch on a morning talk show. Uh, so then you can sell more merch to 12-year-olds who are sympathetic to your fake tears. And then you just continue the cycle forever and ever, uh, increasing your fame one uh, douchebaggery at a time. You know, and so forth and so forth. It's really genius if you think about it, especially for, <laughs> for a guy as balding as Logan Paul. Oh, and by the way, the funniest part of this video, of this interview is that Logan Paul says he does not make videos for kids. He says he makes videos for himself. Michael, I'm 22 years old. It's not like I'm making content necessarily for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I cuss, <laughs> sometimes I make uh, inappropriate jokes. I want to make jokes that kids my age are going to like. I'm my own demographic. Now, I will say, I am much more aware of the impact that my actions have on myself. Motherfucker, who are you lying to? Somebody, please, somebody, please come get your mans. Whose mans is this? This man is out of control. Bitch, we all know damn well your content is for kids, okay? And you know it too, motherfucker. You've seen your demographics. I don't even need to look at your demographics. Look at this picture. So, come on, like, stop acting. You know damn well who watches your fucking videos. Are you stupid? Maybe you are stupid. No, definitely you are stupid. Um, guys... Honestly, I'm not here to make fun of Logan. Honestly. I'm a, like seriously. I'm a low gangster. I'm a low gang pauler. Okay? What he did as far as showing the dead body, I don't think it was that bad. I'm sure everyone on 4chan has a horrible sense of humor anyway. <laughs> uh it, well, it definitely wasn't right, you know. It was definitely some serial killer shit. 
some psychopathic shit. Like, if I were to see a dead body, I would probably be really freaked out and turn the other fucking way. Um, but, yeah, um, like, the, the thing with that is, I think uh, what I was more mad about was YouTube's reaction to it and how they basically didn't do shit for a while. Except take away his uh, YouTube whatever preferred. Uh, I don't fucking know what it's called here. He talks about it here. Who preferred dropped you from their service. Yeah. Do you think that that was, was fair of them to do? I understand that they needed to take a stance. And while I don't necessarily agree with it, I do respect it. I do respect it. Yeah, you did deserve it. So shut the fuck up. PewDiePie got his taken away for saying nig yeah the n word nigger fuck so yeah you did deserve uh, to get your google preferred taken away honestly to be honest uh from my perspective i was more mad that he was being disrespectful af to the japanese culture because low key or high key i'm a japanese aficionado uh you know i i don't know if you guys noticed i use a lot of uh anime in my videos and i have uh, a couple blow up dolls and uh and some manga so that's that i'm basically japanese uh, i read manga and um i know hiragana so i'm basically japanese so he was basically offending my culture and that's bad because he's a white guy so so that's what i was mostly mad about but otherwise you know like the dead body thing was fucking stupid i'll, I'll admit but it wasn't like something like, like everybody was morally grandstanding over it like oh look at paul is the worst human ever this this and that uh come on like people like fucking that fat white guy um i forgot his name there's like a hundred of them the shitty commentary channel that stretches out his videos to 10 minutes every single time uh i'm sure i'm sure you are a bastion of moral morality right i'm sure you've never done anything wrong in your life shut the fuck up but i agree posting it on youtube was fucking stupid anyway Logan Paul's not that bad, okay? He kind of reminds me of my uncle. You know, he's a sweet guy with a really receding hairline. He could probably make really good love to me, too. Um, but that's not going to stop me from thinking this interview was pathetic. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul is not a victim here, okay? He deserves all the vitriol he is getting, okay? God forbid some fucking stranger tells this double-digit I double IQ YouTube millionaire to kill himself. It's the end of the fucking world right jesus christ suck it up you pussy uh, so i guess that's it for this video really honestly i just i just wanted to make fun of logan's hairline and how hard he tries to hide the fact that his hairline is like <laughs> 10 inches away from where it should be anyway if you enjoyed the video make sure to slap a like on it with your dick unless you're a lady in which case you should hit my dms right now also subscribe and share the video to our cringe so i can get more clout uh, and as always, thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for learning with us. Laugh, I beg you.